With the price of gold hovering over $2,300 and near all-time highs, as well as surging prices in copper and other metals, investors are looking for great undiscovered resource companies that are now starting to merge into the spotlight. Lancaster Resources is primarily engaged in exploring lithium and uranium and other critical minerals with a goal to produce net zero lithium. Guiding Lancaster is CEO Penny White and a skilled management and technical teams that collectively have over 15 commercial mineral discoveries under their, under their belts. So it should come as no surprise that the team is expanding its portfolio to include some very interesting opportunities in gold with the acquisition of the Piney Lake Gold property. That's what we're talking about. Penny, welcome to Agoracom. Hi, George. Happy to be here. Glad to have you on, especially with uh, such robust metals prices and small cap resource companies starting to really start to get their attention. Before discussing this acquisition, the Piney Lake Gold property, what's your team's view of gold in general, the big picture, price, future, and all that, that led you guys to make the decision to acquire Piney Lake in the first place? Well, I mean, obviously, gold is a great asset to have when we're in an economic downturn, which, I mean, through my eyes, that's where we are right now. I don't know about you, <laughs> but it feels like it. Um, it also diversifies your portfolio and it can hedge against inflation. So, you know, we've been seeing some investor, increased investor interest in gold, uh, definitely in the past few weeks. And I think that kind of matches what my team was thinking too, is it's time to get into gold. You know, we need to hedge, we need to hedge against um, what's happening in the world economy. In Saskatchewan, where Piney Lake where the, where is, is located, it's not an area often associated with gold, and yet you made this acquisition, which we now know is in a pretty good neighborhood, right? So let's talk about kind of success that's been around Piney Lake because it's a pretty it's a pretty prolific area. Yeah, I mean, we're basically we're close to the largest producing gold mine in Saskatchewan, which is about forty kilometers north of us, and then we have. Um, some really great gold showings on the property adjacent to us on a north on the north side. So um, we picked up this property directly. We state the claims. It was an inexpensive acquisition for us, but our geologists really scoped all of Canada looking for sort of like the hidden gems of what we could get that weren't going to be super expensive, that had not yet been drilled, but were right next to some great um, results that had that were publicly available. So we picked this up directly to the north of us, as close as 200 hundred meters away um, we have uh, gold showings ranging from 2.8 grams to a ton per ton to 8.5 grams per ton so that's right next to us hundreds of meters away and then we have uh, showings of 41 grams per ton um, within four kilometers of that property so there's there's a really exciting trend they call it a gold zone that's coming down looks like it's coming right onto our property um, with you know our neighbors results so we're really excited to get started on exploration to show that that trend continues through our property and that's a great thing about having the team you have right a lot of a lot of people in this space don't have a great team so george calm gold has to go acquire for cash or give up a lot of stock but in this case you got you had your lead geologist look across the country and stake this right so what does that say about your team that you're able to get such a great property for essentially staking whatever costs a stake which is a lot cheaper than acquiring for yeah. cash uh, from somebody else Definitely. I mean, yeah, all of our geologists have like incredible backgrounds. Um, one of our geologists, Rodney Blakestead, he's got over eight discoveries of gold um, in his background, successful deposits that he's found. And he actually likes to go into areas that aren't really well known for a certain type of mineral. For example, he he made a dis many discoveries in Alaska before Alaska was sort of a popular place to look for gold. Um, we're looking together for um, lithium in New Mexico, and we hope to be the first discovery of lithium in New Mexico um, for a major deposit there. And so now, you know, with, with our team and Andrew Watson, our, our VP of operations, who is very um, knowledgeable about Alberta and Saskatchewan, we've gone into Saskatchewan and picked up this property, the Piney Lake property, because we think it has huge potential. And we don't think it's going to be very expensive to get that those that first data set um, we're going to be working with one of our technology partners, Core AI. Um, hopefully, we're just putting out feelers now to to get the timeline of when we can do that. Those that first uh, satellite imagery combined with uh, drone imaging, 
to get that those that initial data, which Cora will use their AI technology, their machine learning tech um, to really help us delineate where we want to go for our next, you know, for our, our boots on the ground um, field geology. Yeah, and I give you guys credit for that because uh, this is a this is a team that's got a lot of experience, and you would almost think that they'd be old school, want to do things the old way. I'm not saying they're old guys, but obviously with 15 discoveries under their belts, they've been around for a while. They're not they're not rookies, and yet they're relying on artificial intelligence, machine learning, even something called hyperspectral hyperspectral in imaging, which I won't ask you what that is unless you know. But it's just great to see you guys deploying tech. Uh, to get the job done as opposed to, you know, the, the status quo. Well, yeah, the hyperspectral imaging uh, will likely be done by Core AI, and it combines satellite imagery with um, drone surveys. And then, you know, like I said before, you you apply AI and machine learning to really get a very good picture of what's going on on the surface. So um, obviously, we'll be looking for evidence that the gold from the that you see in the neighboring property continues into our project. We'll look for potential surface outcrops where the rock is visible at the surface. We'll also analyze the color of the rock, which will indicate rock mineralization. And we hope to leverage modern technologies such as biochemical analysis, which provides a visual indication of how the rock changes the biology of the plants, indicating mineralization. Um, so, you know, all of those steps are fairly inexpensive, can be done without permits, can be done quickly, and they're going to give us a really good idea of what the surface looks like. Um, and then we can make a, a very focused field exploration program. And in the press release, it says, it's not like you're just taking a shot in the dark here and hoping you find something. You've got historical findings that quote, underscores the high grade gold potential here, right? Yeah, there's been a lot of work. I mean, this is an area that was looked at by the majors, um, this whole region, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. There's lots of surrounding data that we've already analyzed um, to help us with our next steps. Um, do you have a timeline, basic timeline right now? Like when do you guys get going on, on Piney? I know you guys just got it ballpark to give everyone a home and an idea of when you know you're going to start working out there and will you be working till you know right through the year is weather an issue at some point just give us a basic uh uh, uh kind of cadence of what, what, what we expect sure to start with we're going to do our satellite and our drone survey um we're not exactly sure when that will happen we just got feelers out with a couple different companies including core um just to see when they can get out there so ideally it would be uh, may or june so pretty quick we don't need a permit like i said nice. it's just a question of availability um it's not hugely expensive so we can get that going pretty quickly so let's just say we're targeting June. Um, those results should come in within a couple weeks, and then we would be able to do uh, geological, like on the ground surveys, geochem analysis of any zones we've sort of indicated look like they might have some gold mineralization. So that could happen anytime over the summer and the in the early fall, and then from there, hopefully, we're able to delineate some drill targets. And Saskatchewan's a pretty friendly mining jurisdiction, so we we don't yeah. anticipate any issues there. Uranium helium uh you've obviously got a the largest gold mine operating right by you so yeah saskatchewan is a great place very friendly i i, I love the the geography of of the acquisition petty devil's advocate here given your primary focus has been on lithium and uranium and other critical minerals uh how does piney fit into the overall strategy um well you know we're focused on any mineral that supports um, decarbonization, electrification. Obviously lithium is a key mineral, but um, uranium too, copper and gold both take, you know, they both have the role to play in, in our energy transition of the future. So, you know, there's a lot of minerals that um, we're very interested in because I think the future is in decarbonization. So right now lithium prices are a little bit depressed, but um, gold looks like a really interesting opportunity right now because you can still pick properties up at a really good price, which is what we did with Piney Lake, but then there's a huge upside. And then you see, you know, investors are excited and you see like the general economic climate um, being so sort of dark for the future that people are really now willing to pick gold up and put it in their portfolio. Yeah, we've definitely seen some amazing moves in the last three months, maybe for some of the wrong reasons. But then again, you know, gold has kind of had a lid on it. 
And uh, sooner or later, that lid's going to come off and there's too much pressure. So your timing, your timing may be perfect here. Uh, last question. You guys have been really active uh, uh, in, in the last little while. For example, you just, comp you just uh, I can't remember if you spun something out or if you, you are fully acquired something, but you guys have been really active, positioning yourself. What's been going on uh, outside of gold? Uh, at Lancaster over the last couple of months? Yeah, well, I mean, our, our flagship property is the Alkali Flat Lithium Project in New Mexico. We're really excited about that. We think we're on the brink of a major discovery. We've announced that we're probably wow. going to get our, our permits anytime and do our maiden drilling program. So that's exciting. Um, and, you know, and those those initial results could come out um, within a few months, you know, once we get everything started. But in the meantime, you know, we're just looking at the changing economic landscape and we're kind of trying to think about how do we build value in the company? Um, and we looked at copper, gold, uranium. Uh, we decided to start building out a portfolio. So in December, we picked up the Nelson Lake Copper Project. Um, in a couple of months ago, we picked up some uranium properties in the Athabasca Basin, and then recently picked up Piney Lake Gold. So we're developing a model where we're going to pick up these assets fairly cheap, develop them with using sort of the latest technologies. So doing things a little bit differently, getting some really good data and the properties that look promising, we'll either explore ourselves, we'll joint venture them or we'll spin them off. So um, we actually did a spinoff of Nelson Lake uh, as a subsidiary. We completed that a few weeks ago. And what's cool about that is all our shareholders got a little bonus um, into their brokerage account or they just received nice. like a new stock certificate and a new deal. Now it is unlisted at the moment. It's an unlisted reporting issuer. Um, can't buy that stock. So N Nelson Lake Copper. Um, Corp is um, a company that's completely separate from Lancaster, but now we own, you know, 700,000 shares in it. The target, the goal with that company is to find a merger partner and go list somewhere. So that will give Lancaster sort of uh, like a bit of a stock portfolio. So we kind of like that model, it worked out well. We successfully completed the spinoff. We see the value there. We've started talking to interesting merger candidates. And, uh, you know, we might do that again in the future, depending on what we find with our initial exploration in sort of our gold and our uranium. And we also have a hard rock lithium project in Canada. So, you know, depending on what we find, um, we may decide this is an exciting opportunity to spin off, give our shareholders a share in another company that we issue through a dividend and, uh, you know, create this ongoing growing portfolio for Lancaster that hopefully in the future enables us to not have to go back to the well and dilute our shareholders, but allows us to just generate revenue through other means. I love the fact that you're taking care of shareholders. Uh, I, I love the moves you guys are making. They're really smart, uh, kind of under the radar for now. And that's a credit, A, to your leadership but B, uh, your leadership alone or anyone's leadership alone is not enough. You got a great management team around you. You've got a great technical team around you and it's really starting to show. So this is the first of what's going to be many uh, interviews diving in depth uh, into all different facets of Lancaster. But thanks for joining us on this one, Penny. It was great to find out about Piney Lake, why you made that move, a little bit about just enough to keep the rest of us saying, I want to hear more about the critical the critical mineral side. And we're, do, we're going to do that in a week or 10 days or so. Great. Thanks, George. Really appreciate your questions and your comments. It's great to be here. For all of you at home, you've been watching or listening by podcast on Spotify, Google, Apple, your favorite podcast platform to Penny White. She's the CEO at Lancaster Resources, trades in Canada under LCR for our friends in the S under L-A-N-R-F. And for those of you who the story, and that's going to be a lot of you, and you want to start your due diligence because the company's fresh, and new and you want to see what they're doing take a look at their profile page on agoracom because we give you the good thirty thousand foot overview of the company and then once you've got that under your belt head over to the lancaster website to your deep dive due diligence thanks for joining us have a great day see you next time hey small cap fam i hope you love this interview because more than a dozen people were involved in its production for the sole purpose of making you happy if so, can you take a moment to support both our awesome guest company and Agoracom? Your engagement means the world to us. First, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up by tapping that like button. It's a small gesture that helps this interview reach even more potential investors to discover today's guest. Second, we would love to hear your feedback on this interview, so please leave a comment below. Be sure to keep it clean, but feel free to poke fun at George. 
If you loved what you heard on today's video and want to dig into our guest company right away, take a look at the links in the description below. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to never miss another great Agora Calm small cap video. Thank you so much. We couldn't do any of this without you. Make sure to come back soon.